So let's start with an eggplant lasagna. Nice firm eggplant. We'll cut the tips off. Yes, okay. And peel it. And again, I like to leave a little bit of sort of the skin because of the flavor and also it looks good. So it doesn't look like just plain white. Okay, this looks fairly good. Cut it in slices. And the end piece might be a little um, hard. Now, eggplants, um, everybody loves them and when they're good, they're super good, but sometimes they're a little bitter. And what really is, uh, gives them the bitterness is the seeds, the black seeds like this. So in order to just safeguard your taste and your flavor, I usually salt them. And what you get, you get yourself a colander and we have a weight here of a, just another bowl with any weight will do. You layer them along the side like this and you can sort of fill them up with the layers of eggplant. Use some coarse salt, make sure that it goes on every eggplant and then you weigh it down like this and you let it like, be like this for about a half an hour and this is the juice that will come out of the eggplant, which gives it bitterness, and you discard that. But of course now we have a lot of salt, so we have to wash the eggplants before we fry them. So let's go to the sink. And you want plenty of running water because you want to get all of the salt out. And what's important now is to pat it dry well. You pat it dry because we're going to fry it. So we're ready to fry it. A little bit of flour, a nice white skillet so you'll get a lot of them in. Canola oil, this is canola oil for frying. Either canola, vegetable oil is best because it has a higher smoking temperature. So it reaches higher temperature before it smokes. So, And you want it fairly, fairly hot. You don't want it smoking. You test and this looks just fine and you don't need to overload the pan with the oil. Just enough to cover the eggplant halfway up is fine. Okay, I think they're nice and caramelized, just the way we like them. few minutes on this side and then we'll do another batch. Putting paper towels between the layers so they absorb any extra fat. Pick a nice lasagna dish. Um, ceramic is wonderful because you can bring it right to the table and just lightly brush it with some butter. Room temperature, slightly melted butter. And then begin to layer. Uh, we begin with the bread and you just press it in, you know, the bread is day old, two day old bread, that's what you wanna use. If it overlaps, that's fine. Just press it right into position. Okay, at this point, let's just soup it up a little bit with the sauce. And you can see that the bread replaces the layers of pasta that you would otherwise put in. It's a great way for a quick assembling, and I'm showing you the eggplant, but you can do it with zucchini. Uh, you can do it with asparagus, nice asparagus and spinach, bread lasagna, I can see that. Okay, so the bread is, has sort of pulled in the sauce. Now, of course, cheese, some nice grated cheese, which is wonderful. And uh, be generous because there's not many elements in here. You know, it's, it's sort of a poor man's lasagna anyways. And then you layer the eggplant. Some fresh basil. You can have it sort of cut before, you know, 
shredded before, but I kind of like just ripping it in. It is just getting into the food and feeling the food and the smells are coming out. And mm. so a little more sauce on top of the melanzana. And the sauce is a rather simple sauce. Uh, like everything in this dish, it's a marinara. Garlic, oil, plum tomatoes with a little basil and a little bit of uh, salt. And another layer of bread. And you notice that I'm putting sort of the straight edge on the edge of the casserole so that this way we really get it all the corners covered. And then I overlap a little bit in the center. This one I'm going to do this way. And Press it down gently. And again, let the bread take in the marinara. Some grated cheese. Layer the eggplant. And when you do a lasagna, don't be afraid to sort of pat it into position. You want it to be compact. Again, a little bit of basil. That's it. More marinara. And I will take a spatula and sort of really get it into the corners. And if you have a little bit of marinara left, you can always serve it at the end when you're serving the dish itself. Put it on the table and it's always good. Now I'm gonna just use my hands because I think that's the best tool I have. I can drop what I want where I want it. And I want loads of cheese because this is gonna make the crust, the cheesy crust which we all love. That looks good. and cover it with foil paper. It doesn't have to be tight, tight, but you do. You do want it to sort of cook inside and then you take it off in the last 15 minutes of the cooking so it develops a nice crust. Have a preheated oven, 375 degrees, and you bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes. Toasting the bread now for the plum lasagna. Uh, wonderful lasagna, simple. So a little butter in a pan. And again, get yourself a nice wide pan. So this way you get a lot of slices of bread in there so you don't have to do too many times. Toast them on both sides. Stand by because you want them nice and caramelized but you don't want them burned. You see the Turn color right away. Okay. Sprinkle them with sugar while they're nice and hot so the sugar sort of melts into them. And while the bread is cooling off, we'll work with the plums. These are Italian plums. And uh, us Italians, especially from the northern part of Italy, we love our plums. We do gnocchi with plums, we do strudel with plums, we do crostatas with plums. Uh, so when in season, by all means, get these plums, the Italian plum. But otherwise, other plums, when they're ripe, not overripe, but when they're ripe, they're delicious for this dish. So basically, what you want is uh, wash it first, of course, and then you just split them in half with a paring knife, twist it around so that you have access to the pit. And you just remove the pit. And again. And just remove the pit. All right. And um, we'll proceed to season these plums. In this bowl, we'll put some sugar. Even though the, the plums are sweet, you do need additional sugar. 
lemon juice to add just a little bit of zest and acidity to it. Some lemon rind. And just give it a toss. Collect all the sugar. Now you don't have to toss so that everything melts. The fact that the sugar just adheres to the plum is perfectly fine like this. And we'll make the crumble now. The crumble is sort of the topping. And the crumble is made, of course, with chilled butter, sugar, flour, and I'm going to put it all at once, cinnamon, some brown sugar, mm -mm -mm. and some chopped nuts, coarsely chopped walnuts, and just roughly sort of. Now you can do this with your fingers, um, but if you do it with this cutter here, you don't touch the butter with the heat of your hands and it remains more into a crumble. Yeah, okay. So that's fine. And we are ready to assemble the crostata itself. A nice uh, pir pirofola or a nice sort of dish, ceramic that you can put in the oven and then you can serve in it. You don't transport this out of the dish and then put it on a serving plate and then serve it. This gets served all together because everything melts into each other. Brush the container well with room temperature butter. And then we begin to assemble the plum lasagna. Layer our bread. Break this to fit it into, into position. We'll fit the plums and we'll do two layers. And press it down into position. Let's take the other bread and press it into position. Mm. Okay. And now let's sort of dress it up a little bit and make sort of a petal display. Have the plums come out as petals. All right. And then we'll top it with the crumble. And again, let me just do it with the hands so I know exactly where I'm going. So you can see how this can really apply to any fruit that's in season. Some leftover bread and you have yourself a grand dessert. You put it in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 50 minutes to an hour. And it'll bubble, a nice crust on top. The bread will just absorb all of the juices from the plums and you'll have yourself a delicious Plum lasagna. While the lasagnas are resting, they're done and they're bubbling and now they're resting, uh, we'll make some nice salad of uh, cooked string beans, some tomatoes, and some mozzarella in there. Uh, to clean the stream beans, just clip off the tip where it's attached to the plant. Otherwise, the rest is just fine. Pot of boiling water. And just put it right in there. Okay. I think I lost one. Here we go. Let's cover it so you bring the boiling point up quickly again. And while they're cooking, we have an ice bath ready. We'll put them right in here so they retain their color and they chill right away. Uh, the tomatoes, ah, tomatoes. Uh, these are little sort of uh, little cherry tomatoes. You have all kinds of little tomatoes out there in the summer. You know, at our house, we have a little garden. It's not big, but it's our garden. I must say, it's 
grandma's garden and she just loves it. You know, Grandma Arminia, you know her. She's 84, she doesn't mind me telling you. And uh, her best pastime is twofold, in the garden or with the great-grandchildren. And when the great-grandchildren are in the garden with her, then that's the maximum. Uh, so some nice uh, ripe tomatoes, uh, wash them and then cut them in half. In the salad, I'll toss some fresh mozzarella, and this is fior di latte. Fior means flour, latte is milk, so it's the flour of the milk, so it's sort of the fresh, milky taste. Uh, you can use buffalo milk mozzarella, just fresh mozzarella like this, and you cut it in little cubes, about the same size as the tomatoes. And for best flavor, I mean, you, you keep it in the refrigerator, cut it, but for best flavor is when it reaches room temperature. So um, pull it out of the refrigerator a bit before tossing it. So let's check on the string beans. I like them green, but I like them cooked. I don't like them when they're really undercooked. And these are just perfect. Let's pick them right out, right in the ice bath. So let's just toss them. They're ready to go. I don't want them cold, cold. I just want them chilled. Okay, a little piece of tomato got in here. I don't know how. Okay, we'll pick every single one of them out. We're finished with the ice bath. Just pat them dry a little bit, and we are ready to dress the salad. Put them right in. Okay. Okay, pick out any ice cubes that you have left in there. <laughs> mm. Even the colors are Italian, very Italian. That's a beautiful salad salt and I'll wait to add the mozzarella at the last minute and you know mozzarella does not have salt in it it's not usually salted so I'm generous with the salt in the salad olive oil wine vinegar and let's just toss it gently just like that. Now we'll add the mozzarella. And this is a beautiful salad at any time. It could even be a main course. Certainly a wonderful appetizer. In this case, a nice uh, plate of this salad. And then some of our eggplant bread lasagna. Doesn't get any better. Just and you want all of the juice in there. Of course, to crown the whole dish, a uh, little basil. And you can cut it before, but I sometimes just like cutting it right on top of things. And since basil changes uh, color, especially with acidity, you put it on top and just before your guests begin to serve themselves, you give it a toss. All right, let me just do one more thing for you. 
and then we'll be all done. Okay, all on top. That looks wonderful. We are ready to taste. The lasagna has rested, the salad has absorbed all the flavors, and I am hungry. So, let me taste a little bit of this eggplant and bread lasagna. See how sort of it just fits all together, just like a pasta lasagna. Let me see how it tastes. Mm. Delicious. The bread sort of is, 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 is inzuppato. It's full of the tomato. Inzuppato means like souped up, the Italian word, with the tomato sauce, the cheese, the eggplant, everything is just mellow and it is just wonderful. And I think at, at this time, it is time to beckon you to come to my table. So as we say at our house, tutti a tavola a mangiare, a mangiare due lasagne. Lasagna come lanzana with eggplant and lasagna alle prugne. Salute!